click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about embedded SQL. Embedded SQL is embedding the SQL in some other programming or host languages. We will see that how to use the commands in embedding the SQL with other host languages, how to place the updates and selection of the relation and updating a particular tuple on condition on a host language using the embedded SQL. Embedded SQL gives us the opportunity to use the ODBC that is Open Database Connect and JDBC that is Java Database Connect to connect the SQL to the programming languages. Often it is needed that in our programming languages or while we are programming something, we need some database or information from some database. So we cannot actually store a large data in a file in the programming language so that the need of the database connectivity with the host languages. So embedded SQL provides us the features where we can connect our database with the host languages. We can do this with some comments with the help of a cursor which will move and do the updates and select part on the database and to get reflected on the host language. So first we will see with the syntax that how to use the embedded SQL. Here we can see the exec SQL and after that we can put the embedded SQL statements. So the exec SQL use us to start the embedded SQL as a part of the host language. So this statement provides us that we are using an embedded SQL and the statement is connect to server that is we are connecting to the server that we want to fetch with the database. Then the user who is the username that is connecting the database to the host language using we have to mention the password to connect to the server. That is not all the user can connect to all the servers. So the user must know the password to connect to the server. Now there are, are several types of SQL runtime errors that we have discussed. And there are also runtime error of the host languages. So the connection to the server will help to control all the errors to be defined and then eliminated from the program. Now, if we want to use any of the variable of the host languages in the embedded SQL statement, then we can do that by providing a colon prior to the variable name of the host language. And we can use all that inside an exec SQL declare section starting. After that, we can declare the variable or do the section. And after, we will put the end SQL declare section. So we will just like this. So here we are first beginning the declare section, then declaring the variable, then ending the declare section. Now we will declare a cursor. A cursor is a pointer which can point to the relation, do the select and update on behalf of the host language to the relations. So we are declaring a cursor and performing some operations on that. So here we are declaring a cursor C that we will use for selecting the attributes ID and name from the relation student 
where the total credit attribute of student will be greater than the credit amount of the host language variable. See here, I have put a colon before the credit amount declaration because it belongs to a host language. Now we will open the cursor to use it in the language. So using the cursor name C, we can actually open the cursor to use it. Now the values that we have selected by using C, we can fetch it inside any host language variable by the fetch command. And we can do this like, See here, I'm fetching the ID and name from student relation based on the predicate, that is total credit is greater than the credit amount. And now I am fetching the values into two variables that are the host language variables, SI and SN. SI for the identity storing and SN for the name storing. So that is the basic use of fetching a value from a cursor and storing it in a variable of the host language. Now after that the cursor has performed its operation, we can close it by the close command. So now using the close command, we can close the cursor so that we cannot use the cursor further for doing any operations on the relation student. However, we can again declare the cursor C for doing another walk. Now we can also update and validate some relations or the tuples based on a predicate. So we can do that by So here we can use exec SQL and after that any valid update insert or delete statement on the relation. So we will do it with an example. So we are having the parser C for selecting all the tuples from instructor where the department name is music for update. So we can update any of the data or the relation instructor if the department name is music with the help of cursor C. Now we will use the C to actually update the information. So now, where current of C provides that if the C cursor is the current cursor, we can update the instructor in the embedded SQL statement by salary adding up with 100. Now in this way, we can update, insert any value using the embedded SQL and also we can provide the rollback, commit and save point using exec SQL rollback, exec SQL commit like this. So these are the features of the embedded SQL queries in a host language. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.